people who produce or use alternative texts to read books, magazines, and instruction materials will enjoy experiencing Eclipseware in action. Students and professionals appreciate reading materials created with Eclipse Writer and accessed with Eclipse Reader, as it enables a multi-sensory approach to reading and writing with the ability to navigate and annotate accessible DAISY media. Eclipse Writer Pro is a suite of five software tools. Use Eclipse Writer Pro for scanning documents, reading, and converting them into over 30 formats of accessible media. Eclipse Reader, included in the Eclipse Writer Pro bundle, is a DAISY book reader that includes a suite of study tools for DAISY books and text files. Eclipse Reader may also be used to review and proofread DAISY books created with Eclipse Writer. Eclipse Water provides online access to DAISY books, working in unison with Eclipse Reader's built-in web browser. The Eclipse Writer Pro Bundle also includes two synthetic voice packages, NeoSpeech Kate and NeoSpeech Paul, U.S. English voices, which are near human-like text-to-speech voices. Hello, I'm Kate. And I'm Paul. Kate and I will be your reading voices and help you make your books and documents sound wonderful. So let's get started with scanning and reading with Eclipse Writer. Eclipse Writer has two unique scanning operational modes. Read-only mode is tailored for high-quality scanning and reading applications. All functions are controlled from the PC keyboard number pad, allowing novice or non-computer users to operate Eclipse Writer as a simple scan and read machine. Word processor mode, which is the default operating mode when you install Eclipse Writer, includes all scan and read features, plus a powerful reading and writing tool compatible with a wide range of documents including Microsoft Word, Word Docx, HTML, XML, RTF, DTBook, text, and PDF files. Eclipse Writer's automated Save as DAISY conversion wizard provides simple and fast DAISY book conversion for personal use. Eclipse Writer supports a wide range of Twain compatible scanners, document scanning cameras such as the Hovercam. You can even use low-cost, high-resolution webcams to scan and read with Eclipse Writer. To demonstrate Eclipse Writer's scanning abilities, we'd like to first set up the Hovercam document camera. The Hovercam is housed in a retractable telescopic tube and comes with a USB cable to attach the camera to your computer and a document positioning mat. First, you're going to want to release the brake on the back of the hover cam so the telescopic tube easily slides open to its maximum length. Next, expand the tube to its maximum length and then open the tube exposing the camera and lighting assembly. At this point it'll be standing like an upside down L ready to be placed on the document positioning mat. The document positioning mat has oval shaped markers in the top center and this is the location you'll want to stand the camera. From that point on the camera will be viewing over the top of the mat which reflects the reading surface for scanning and reading. Then attach a USB cable to the Hovercam camera and the other end of the USB cable to a spare USB input on your laptop or desktop computer. From here you're ready to start scanning and reading. Okay, now that we've set up the Hovercam, we're ready to start scanning and reading with Eclipse Writer. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the scan menu, Alt S. R. Scan and read CTRL plus space bar. And then S for select scanner. 
Scanning dialog opened. Scanner selection list entered. Hover cam T5 selected. And we have uh, a number of scanning devices that have been installed one time or another. We see a couple Canon scanners are showing up. Hover cam working off a Twain driver. The one that we want to select is the Hover cam T5 which is going to use the uh, direct camera interface built into Eclipse Rider. So I'm going to hit enter on that. Select scanner processes complete. OK button selected. And if I want to have that persist um, to the next time that we open up uh, Eclipse Rider and are ready to scan and read, I would go back into the scanning menu and select save scanning preferences. And from that point on, the uh, hover cam will be the default uh, scanning device. To start scanning, uh, you can either go to the scanning menu. There's two methods of scanning. S R scan and read CTRL plus space bar and B batch scan CTRL plus shift plus space bar. And those are our two primary methods of scanning. I'm going to select scan and read R. from the menu. Scan and read CTRL plus space bar. But I can also just use control space bar. Clip. Document analysis has started. Please wait. Loading document. Eclipse Writer Quick Start Tutorial. Eclipse Writer is a PC based software application design. Now it was a, a eight and a half by eleven uh, sheet of paper. Um, pretty easy document to scan. Nice, clear, uh, large font. Uh, not too challenging for most scanning devices. Um, in this mode, we're doing scan and read using text only. Um, I have other scanning modes. R. Scan and read. C. Document copier. I can um, select a document copier, which will scan and send directly to uh, the default printer. Q. High quality scan. High quality scan is really about um, retaining uh, font style and structure, and we typically use high quality uh, when we want to make uh, a daisy book. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference between scanning just text or and high quality. I'm going to select yes. a high quality Two. scanning mode. High quality scan selected. And then I'm going to clear the document with Control N for new, new document. Save changes made to this document. And new I don't want to save them. Now I have a blank document. And here I'm going to do Control Spacebar to scan this page. Click. Document analysis has started. Please wait. Loading document. Eclipse Writer Quick Start Tutorial. Eclipse Writer is a PC based. And in this uh, page that we've scanned, it now actually looks pretty much identical to the original document. And you can see that there are actually um, phrases, the very first one. Eclipse Writer Quick Start Tutorial. Which are fonts in bold. Um, I can down arrow to the next uh, bolded phrase. Basic word processing mode and save AS Daisy quick orientation. And uh, so on. And these phrases, if I went and did the save as Daisy routine or selected find and mark headings, they would be found and selected as navigation points in a Daisy book. So that's where high quality mode can be quite useful. There's a second scanning mode called batch scan. And to demonstrate this mode, I'm going to use a full size textbook and we're going to scan two pages at a time. At the end of the batch scan process, it'll then go off and do uh, the OCR and uh, load it in the word processor. So I'm going to go to the scan menu with an Alt S. R. Scan and read CTRL plus space bar. And B for batch scan. Click. Would you like to scan another page of text? And what I'm going to do is turn the page and then select yes. Y for yes. Yes button selected. Would you like to scan another page of text? 
and I'm going to turn the next page and select yes. Yes button selected. Click. Would you like to scan another page of text? And you would continue that process until you're done scanning. When you're done scanning, you would then say no. No button selected. Document analysis has started. Please wait. And here it's going to analyze all the pages. Uh, keep in mind that we did two pages at a time with one click. So it's going to analyze all of those pages and when it's done turning those pages into text, it's going to load into the word processor and you're ready to start reading or you can save that uh, in any of the supported uh, document formats uh, including Word, uh, save as daisy, a text file, whatever you want this document to be for its final use. Document analysis process is complete. Press enter to continue. OK button selected. And here the book is now uh, OCR'd and loaded into the document uh, ready to read. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Eclipse Writer. This concludes our video presentation.